The Amazing Rocker 3.0. It's a great set! In today's video, let's talk about why I like it so much, and we'll also break down how you can use the pieces that come in this set to build your own cool creations. And if you're lucky, we'll finish off with a few revamps of Rocker 3.0. Let's do it! This was the first time that we were introduced to the legendary character, Daniel Rocker. And you know, when the new guy comes out and he's amongst many other classic characters like Ferno and Stormer, yeah, maybe this guy's not gonna measure up as much. Well, but that was not the case. Lego hit it out the park with this awesome set. I mean, look at his gorgeous golden armor. I don't know what it is about characters with golden armor, but it just ignites something in me. As a kid, I thought he looked so cool. And it was pretty much just because he was golden. But you know, he's more than just the gold guy. He was the lion dude. Look at his lion helmet. The fact that the very front of the helmet is the mouth of the lion and you can see his head poking through the gaps. Genius. I mean, this was just such a sick design. Sadly, the one you're seeing here is a little bit played with, so it's not the best condition, but I promise you it's a great piece. And hey, the lion, they're the king of the jungle. And this theme was set within the jungle. So you know you gotta take this dude seriously. You know he means business. And then, oh, if you thought those were the best parts, nah nah, this is the claw weapon. This is so much fun to pose and play with. I used to have Rocker on my desk as a kid all the time. And when I was supposed to be doing homework, instead, I'd be posing and playing with this guy. Because he looks so electric no matter how you pose him. And he looks so cool. It is surprising to see a claw weapon like this on a good guy. It reminds me a lot of Freddy Krueger. The weapons are actually pretty similar. You know, maybe that's why this guy is so cool. The good guy is using a bad guy weapon. You see that and you think, oh, maybe they're a bit of an anti-hero. They fight dirty. I don't know. There's just something thrilling about that. Rocker 3.0 is pretty cool. And so are these pieces. Let's break down how you can use the parts and pieces that come in this set within your own creations. Shall we? Let's start off with this lovely hand armor. It's a nice piece. Hanku Lego uses it on an unnamed mock, but you know, they place it up here on the top of the torso. There's something nice about the curves of this piece. The way that it juts out just a little bit. It actually looks like armor that's protruding slightly above the torso. I think it's a good look. Oh uh, yeah, and of course, I love how they've also turned Rocker's helmet into a interesting head with a kind of mono eye design at the front. It's a bit of fun. Bronze Age Bionicle also uses this same armor piece but we see it on a Skakti King called Midax. I love how these two pieces help the transition of the torso up into the neck and the head. It's a rather exotic and fun look. I dig it. Now to the next piece here, well, I showcased a slightly different way that you could use Rocker's mask on that very first mock. So let's look at two more ways that this mask can be used. Palu Enrico, Fantu, builds a golden war lion that simply uses this for the lion's head. It's simple, but it's effective. And the way that the chain just kind of slots into the mouth, it works. Hey, I like this design. Use the lion head as, well, a lion head. Sometimes the simple solution is the best solution. Dylan Meaves also uses this piece on this mock, but they place it backwards on the head. And it makes a very nice, uh, I guess, kind of like crown design. Hey, I think it's cool. Next time you place a mask on a mock, try flipping it or putting it upside down. There's a surprising amount of masks out there that look really good when you do exactly that. And I think this is one of those masks. Oh yeah, and this mock also uses some gold CCBS armor shells, and these are the same ones that we get on Rocker's legs. And, you know, they're being used on these mock's legs, but also for crotch armor. Alternatively, we see the hand armor piece up here on the chest, and Rocker's torso armor elements, that's here on the shoulders. Man, right here you can see plenty of different ways that you can use the pieces that come in this set. Very nice. And since we're talking about this shoulder armor design that uses the torso piece, well, how else can you use this golden torso piece? Renuif, they've built the gold-skinned being, and if you look closely, this part is up here on the hunched back. Or is that more the neck? Hey, look, whatever it is, you can still see it there. And I like that. You know, I've seen people use this for back armor, for torso armor, or for neck kind of shoulder armor like we see here. 
it's actually quite a versatile piece. Speaking of versatile pieces, we can also see Rocker's mask on the sides of the torso. There's one more way that you can use this piece. Over to the next piece, we have these interesting silver blades, and they're seen on the edges of Rocker's claw weapon. Redverse has built Lariska, and we can see she's holding one of these blades in her hand. And then there's another blade on the end of this kind of needle-like weapon on her other arm. Oh, and she's also got some of these blades all along her legs, and there's one kind of tucked away inside her arm. Yeah, see, that's the cool thing about this piece. It's long, it's thin, and it's easy to just pack into a mock. So if you're building some kind of mercenary or assassin, one that has a lot of weapons, one that looks deadly, then this weapon is a perfect addition. Therox Journey has also used this piece on a revamp of Nivork. There's a couple of them that we can see on the upper legs, and there's more that are stemming out of the wings. Again, the long, thin, and deadly look of this piece. It fits a vulture just perfectly. You know, when you partner these blades with Nivork's sharp-looking talons, well, you get a really sinister look. It's awesome. And finally, the old-style version of these claw pieces. These are also on Rocker's claw weapon. What about them? Well, stick to the basics. Use them for clawed feet, or claws on the end of itty-bitty hands. I actually like them on the hands. To me, it looks like a smaller version of the larger claws on the other set of hands. It's pretty much the same thing, just a little bit more curved and smaller. It's dope. Well, there you go. A few different ways that you can use these pieces. Now, let's try revamping Rocker 3.0. How have other people done exactly that? Well, we kick things off with Rocker 3.5, a mock by GZB Mocks. Look at the sweet poses that this dude can get into. Mate, I love it when a mock is built well and it can pose. Static statues, yeah, they're cool. But when you show me something that can do stuff like this, it's in a league of its own. I like all these new weapons that they've given Rocker. A blaster just kind of makes sense, I like that. And then this white sword. I really like how the sword matches the new color changed claws. Because hey, the original set did have the tiniest bit of white on the hero core and on the head. So adding in even more white to this guy, it's smart. The white really pops up against the gold. Oh, and then great choice to add in these ornate armor pieces on the shoulders. These pieces are the same ones that we see on the shoulders of Akimu, the mask maker. This guy right here. Yeah, I don't know, these pair quite nicely with the mask, the torso armor, and everything else. It's a good look. This mock just adds in the perfect amount of extra detail to the set and to the character. They really made it shine. And finally, here is Rocker XL by Aaron Zambiasi. Yeah, remember, in this wave of Hero Factory, we were given the normal version of Rocker, the set that we've been talking about, as well as a larger version titled Rocker XL. It was essentially just a more armored up, bigger version of the character with a bunch more weapons. It was cool. But I like how this mock here, it takes the best aspects of Rocker XL, but shrinks them down into a smaller package. You get the best of both sets and you merge them into one. I love that idea. It is a shame that this version is missing the iconic claw arm that Rocker had, but hey, a big old gun arm, that's still pretty awesome. And there you go, a few revamps of the character, and a few reasons why I like this guy. Good pieces, and a great set. If you thought the mocks that I showcased in this video were also pretty great, then you should check the links in the description below. You can see more from those builders right there. Thank you so much for watching, love you tons, happy building, and bye for now.